that top spot. But when he fights Foxy, I mean, we've been playing with this guy for quite a while. Um, Zorakamaka really is no joke. There's been a lot of talk about him. A lot of people, you know, have been bigging this guy up. Uh, so hopefully not to put him on a pedestal and cause even more nerves. Um, hopefully this guy, you know, he gives us a good show because he really has a phenomenal Dragon's Fire. Well, you say putting on a pedestal, I've had, you know, a decent amount of, of French players. You know, Makadi himself is French. I've had a lot of French players messaging me saying, you know, he is one of our best. He is an amazing player. Like, don't sleep on this guy. You'll see. I mean, I've never seen this guy play. And when someone's been, you know, if, I, if I've been told by people, he's, like, he's really good. You guys have got to watch it. That, that hypes me up. That, that really excites me, especially on this sort of stage, right? You know, you guys are watching the Netherrealm Twitch. This is, you know, one of the biggest MK channels out there, if not the biggest, especially for competitive play. And we've got two people that I've heard amazing things about, but haven't seen yet in an MKX tournament. But that's because ESL has only just begun in Season 2. I mean, this is week one of eight. Just just to remind you guys, we have a string of eight tournaments, uh, weekly, $1,000 to play for each week. You earn placement points. The higher you place, you know, the more points you earn. The more points you earn, the higher chance you have of being sent to the Season 2 Finals. Um, but going straight into this match, it is going to be uh, Flame Fist. Actually, Drakamaka opting to go for Flame Fist over Dragon's Fire. Interesting. interesting. He can play both variations. Well, you know, I, I definitely would assume that he would have gone with Dragon's Fire because that's the one I've seen him practice with the most. I mean, like, you know, a lot of people when they talk about this guy, they, they, they praise him for his dash cancels and for his, you know, his precision with his inputs. But maybe, you know, he may doubt his own execution in tournament. Who knows? First hit's going to be very important. Oh, and there goes to Zrakamaka. Makadi with a wake up down one gets into it. And this is Wrestler Jack, so he does have those tick throws available. Zrakamaka opting to go for this far away keep away game means Zrakamaka's instant air fireballs. Considering he plays on pad, not hitbox or anything, his execution is phenomenal on those instant air fireballs. Oh, and there we go. Here comes the zoning, and that might be one of the reasons he's gone. Doesn't want to deal with the tick grabs. And obviously, Flame Fist Lucane does a lot of damage on those fireballs 10% each time. And there we go. Once again, cancels into it, and the zoning he's going to have to deal with. Just getting rid of that interactable oh, lovely patience. Down Good patience, but I like that, getting rid of the interactable, not even giving him a chance to use Well, it's it. like you said just now, I mean, Flame Fist Fireballs with the buff on do 10% per Fireball. That's a big chunk, that's 10 of those and you're dead. Oh, a little bit preemptive, a little bit ahead of himself there. Full combo there from Solwy, here we go. Wonderful nice, good damage. Percent. And the corner carries, Rakamaka, oh wow, no, unfortunately lets him out of the corner. So Rakamaka with the delay, wake up to make the jump in completely with. That's the back one. Just the amount of bar he's building, look at this, oh, he's got here two we go. Oh, and he's not ready for it. I think Salty just weighing so much damage on Flame Fist. Nice tech on the grab. And there we go. All oh, chip damage. That was a very, very quick game one. Well, it's just overall very tidy Flame Fist play. You know, making the most of the chain punches, which obviously replaces the bicycle kick in this variation. Using the cancels as well. Makadi waiting for things that weren't happening. Rakamaka baiting properly. That's what, what you just said there. That, that was actually what happened in game one. It was waiting for things that didn't come. So in Flame Fist, he cancelled. When you see the windmill punches, you almost always expect something, you know, to, to punish or react to or whatever. You expect a buff, you expect a parry, because also the whole thing is you can now special cancel the windmill punches. So punches into another special is, you know, it, it, it's common. It's what you see now. So if you're waiting for that special and it doesn't come because he's not doing it, that move becomes safe because you're waiting for a move that isn't there. Um, here's the interesting thing. Salty's actually gone Predator. I'm actually, Ooh. I'm not sure I agree with that. But Hishkuten Predator, though. I know, again, you know, Liu Kang armor breaks like a champ, though. He's, That's probably, the he's probably the best. Uh, it's back one, I believe, with Liu Kang, right? The, just yeah. the powerful two-hit punches. The, du the double-hitting normal. That's probably the best armor-breaking normal in the game. However, if there's a character that's going to be able to, uh, you know, contend with this keep-away game that he's getting hit by, oh, it nice. is Hishkuten Predator. So really good pick, in my opinion, by Bacardi. He immediately gets hit by that NJP read. And here comes the 50-50. He does go for the, uh, the regular high one, though. So much chip damage. And a nice armored interrupt. That is one of the things. There is a gap there. So Salty ready for it, getting a full combo. Off to let him drop. I'm not sure if there's a, another end of that that he should have gone for, but you know, still has him cornered. Oh, and there's the overhead finish. Oh, wow. Oh, really nice, nice conversion. Good stuff. Tries to go for a wake up parry, but uh, he's not really going to get away with that. I mean, that was a, a good round from Salty. Um, very quick. 75 seconds left on the clock. Very swift. <laughs> These rounds have been lightning quick so far. Amazing. Well, what are we going to see next? That, that, was a, that was a good trade for Zarakamaka. Oh, nice trip guard there. Catch him on the low. Flame Fist, so much damage so quickly. And there we go. Zarakamaka, knowing there's a gap there, going straight in for it. Not even opting to spend the bar. That's chip damage. Look at that chip damage and the parry on the prediction. But Makadi not biting. Really good patient play from Makadi. If that parry landed, I would have been so hyped because that was the ultimate read, really, from Zarakamaka. So much chip. That's going to be round if he doesn't get it. Oh, interesting choice of break. Makadi going to be going into round three with no bar against Zarakamaka's full stick. <laughs> Flame Fist with a full stick of bar. That's uh, not a great look, but a lovely NJP read there from Salty. Knowing he's going to go in. Drops the combo, though! 
a wonderful throw break from Zarakamaka. Oh again. my, he's getting so much mileage out of that neutral jump punch. Oh, and lovely, good reversal there. Keep him, keeping him in the corner. Amazing damage. Here we go. And Drops Makati again. is making great reads right now. Now again, the standing damage, 18%, but oh no, caught, not respecting that low, into the overhead, oh wow, mixing things up big time, into a throw, just like that, Zarakamaka stealing the life lead away. Goes into the flame fist buff, trying to go for this full screen game, there's that 10%, he's got that meter, there oh, he is, he's waiting for it, he's ready, doesn't get the punish, but it does not matter, he is flame fist, and if you get hit by that windmill punch, block or hit, you are dead in that situation. So much chip and so much damage. He's Outside covered in uh, chip. green goop in his own red, like, that's a, that's a messy Liu Kang right there. If it bleeds, he can definitely... Kill it with Flame Fist. If it bleeds, it will chip. definitely die if it's against Flame Fist. If it bleeds, I'll chip it out because I'm Flame Fist. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. But no, I mean, you know, Makani not playing badly by any means. You know, getting right with the reads on the NJPs, on the meter burn um, charges. I really should learn the name of that predator move. I used to call it the back forward four because that's how I refer to it. The charging reversal move, which has armor on it. That will do. That will do. But we've got, um, he has actually sticking with Hishkaten. Um, but I think Drakamaka just, what's working for him is when he gets in. He's, he's just rushing him down so well. And it's not necessarily Zarakamaka doing the right thing every time. I think it actually comes down to Salty probably doing the wrong thing. Uh, he's he's not going for the right option every time. I know it's all a read, it's just that he's just making the wrong read every time so far, which is very unfortunate for him. Well, Flame Fist's character's going to punish you on block or hit, especially if he's got the buff ready. Oh, oh wow. wow, nice. Good use of the F5 ball there. And there we go. Here comes the Flame Fist. And I love that. He actually opts to not go for full combos every time. He'd rather, and right there, he would rather leave him standing. And that combos! What? That combos? What is that? I have never seen that before. That was 46% damage with a cornered Predator forced to use Bard to get out. But no, Makadi manages to bring him mid screen again. Good positioning from Makadi. He needs to reinforce this. Good pressure from Makadi. No sprint to follow up. That's so unfortunate, but once again gets a good NJP. Salty having so many good reads on those. Gets the knockdown. Here comes the pressure. But he gets hit by the wake up flip kick. And he gets hit in the face. Match by point. Flame Fist. Zarakamaka. I mean, quite interesting that Makadi opted to go for the Meteor Burn charge. When he did have the Flame Fist active, that fire would just charge through it with the damage. No, going that keep away. Good stuff, Makadi. Really understanding how he's going to get this match back. But Flame Fist on. Oh, he's trying to press buttons. Here we go. So much damage. This is the strength of Flame Fist. And here we go. Oh, oh the armor, armor breaks! That's exactly why Liu Kang doesn't have to worry about armored reversals, especially against Predator. Oh, Makadi just looking. Zarakamaka with all over him right now. Oh, the flame. Literally, he is so lucky that just ran off, but that still kills him. Complete destruction from Zarakamaka. And he ends it in a fatality. Absolutely love this fatality. It doesn't make any sense, but what Whoosh. else does? Flame Fist. Look at the green. That looks really cool with Predator. And it was the Quartan Jungle. Now it's raining green goop. Neon rain. Raining all over the super bushes. So Rakamaka moves himself on to semi-finals where he will be your last qualifier today for the top four spots. That means everyone who has won a game so far secure themselves $100, which isn't that bad for, you know, for a set in Mortal Kombat. But you know, more importantly, they're getting closer and closer to those points. So we're going to see Foxy Grandpa versus LLL Taco. Not sure if that's going to be a Tempest Mirror. I predict we'll probably I think, see I some think it Tempest. Might be. I really think it might be a Tempest Mirror because we, we actually know... Um, Taco doesn't like that matchup. Uh, he really doesn't like that matchup very much. Um, Storm versus Rakamak is going to be interesting because that's the one I want to see. The, the, the issue is Takeda has a very hard time against extreme rushdown because he has he hasn't got amazing reversal. Or, pretty much almost the same the same way Predator hasn't really got very good defensive options in terms of something to really just uh, get them off. Um, but speaking of you know what what we just saw there, where it was just Rakamak in Flame Fist just constantly enforcing these you know. Uh, Basically everything, as we can see here. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I seriously was quite concerned when I saw Zarakamaka go to Flame Fist instead of Dragon's Fire, because I've seen him play more Dragon's Fire than anything else. I thought, uh oh, you know, he's he's clearly got 